Hello guys, this is another uh, Hunley Garage. And what I've got here is the start of my next battery box build. So a lot of people like the uh, battery box that I did uh, before. Um, I'll put a picture up of it up here. But this box is the large version. The other one was the medium. And so what I want to do is I got this Redodo shunt. Um, so I liked where I put it here in the middle. So I want to put that in the middle, put the shunt in here. Um, I ended up getting a fuse block, excuse me, fuse block for 12 volt, for the 12 volt stuff. And then I got also um, this USB thing. It looked nicer on the internet, um, but this right here, you press the button and uh, you've got a USB-C in the A and uh, the C. So I've got two of those. I've also got this 1500 watt inverter. And as you can see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it stuck in there because some people were saying, why didn't you do put some AC outlets in. The thing is, is freaking huge. Um, I do have this guy right here, and this is an AC inverter, but it's only um, 300 watts. So I can put this in, but 300 watts doesn't do much. And so you can see the, the size comparison of it. So I've got... The other fans that I did in the other box, they weren't, uh, they were really small. I don't think they moved much air. So I got um, kind of the next size up. I think these are 80 millimeter uh, 12 volt fans. Um, I ended up liking the lights that I had before. So I've got, I got a package of four. I think I'll just stick with the two, but we'll see. Um, the other is I got these little guys, they're easy to install. So this is the USB-A. Um, and then this right here, it kind of shows the voltage for the 12 volt. Um, it came with a switch. Uh, it came with this guy right here. I don't know if I'll use it. And then the uh, cigarette lighter. The other is, I've got a negative one too. I got a heavy duty bus bar. And so this will come from the sh shunt for the negative and then um, to the positive here. Oh, I, f I know what I forgot was a uh, larger fuse, but I think I've got some. The other is I do have this uh, battery uh, power um, solar charger. And so I could stick it in there instead of kind of making the adapter to plug in. The smaller box, you know, I kind of had enough room to stick the battery in there and a couple of things, but this one's the large box. And so trying to figure out what to get put in there. Um, the other, that's not it. I do have, um, I do have another inverter, a 12 volt charger. That's the thing is, you know how to charge that. It would be nice to be able to put like a cord on it and then plug it straight into the wall to charge it. Kind of throwing this video up um, to have you guys help me on um, what to put in here. So what I want at a minimum is the shunt. And I've got the main bus bar coming in and I'll get a fuse block. Um, the other is, is I'll have from the bus bar to the fuse block here to the 12 volt. I'll be able to do smaller 12, 12 volt and then put in a fan, the cigarette lighter, some USB. Um, from there, put some comments down below on um, what you'd like to see in here. The other is, is I'd like to get this I've had several people reach out because they wanted to buy one. And the one that I made before, I was comfortable with it because I know kind of limitations and things like that. But um, 
uh, I wanted to make it safer. I didn't put the bus bar in, didn't put fuses and things like that, but I don't know what to put in. Should I, should we try to get a inverter in there? And if so, what size, like 1500 watt? Um, should we get just the 300 watt? Should we have just the Anderson plug so that you can just plug it in and then you can use the AC, um, the solar charge controller? Should we have a 12 volt battery charger? Um, trying to do this video here before I actually build this to kind of get some comments from uh, different people on, you know, if you, if you were gonna buy one of these, you know, what would you want in it and what would you want it to do? Um, I am gonna go ahead and try to stick the mini uh, LifePo 4 battery in there. That's about the only one that'll uh, uh, fit in the box um, when I shut it down. This one right here, I think it's the same depth. It might be just like an inch taller, um, but the size is quite a bit bigger. I think it's about this much wider and about this much taller. So I think the other box was this size. So, and I wanted to put like the bus bar and the fuse block in there, but there was just not enough room. Um, so I don't know, I'm trying to throw this video out there, see if I got like 40,000 views on the other one. So throwing this one up um, before I actually build this to try to get some comments on what you think would be useful in this box before I start cutting holes in it and stuff like that. Plus, you know, it's kind of like, how much is one of these? It's kind of how much do you want to spend, right? Because you can get an inverter for $40 and you can get an inverter for $4,000. Same thing with all the different components and batteries and stuff. So trying to get an idea, you know, like what, what would you even pay? What do you want it to do? Do you want this box so that, you know, if the power comes out, you could, you know, just immediately power your fridge or you just want to charge some things? Do you want to plug solar panels directly into it? Do you want to use Anderson plugs to plug this stuff in? So I don't know. Hit a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, I'll try to mix it up a little bit and do some mechanical stuff and some electrical stuff. And I think the electrical uh, is what most people are interested in. So, um, Please comment down below on what you'd like to see in there. And then probably, uh, I don't know, another week or so after that, try to get busy if I can get some comments and uh, get one built. So um, thanks for watching. Please comment below and uh, catch you on the next one.